Hey guys, my name is Junaid Khan and welcome to Art of Arduino and Microcontroller Tutorials. In these lessons we're going to be using the Arduino to do really amazing things where it gives you the ability to control the physical world of electronics. So here I'm using the latest version of the Arduino which comes with the ATmega328 chipset. There are several changes within this Arduino that we'll take a look at. Uh, the first thing is that it's made in Italy, but you can purchase these all over the world, and you're, if you're interested in getting it in the United States, they run about $30. So to power the Arduino, there are three ways of doing it. One way is that you can use a USB, which connects to your computer, or you can use a 9-volt adapter or you can power it using a battery and here is the power connections voltage in and ground so the uh, one change that's different in this Arduino is that the jumper jacks are missing here so if you wanted to power it using a USB you would have to change that jumper manually to tell it that you're using a USB and if you were using a power you would change this but this is now being done automatically over here so the Arduino uh, gives you the ability via a program to control several different electronic components and you can do that uh, via these pins over here basically these pins allow you to control voltage either you turn that voltage high or low meaning on or off and these pins here from 0 all the way to 13 give you that ability you can also do that in these pins here from the analog in from 0 to 5 so they give you a total of 23 pins where you can uh, control different components Pins 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11 are pulse with modulation. Basically what that means is if you have a motor and you want to run it at a different speed, you can uh, control the current as it modulates. Uh, this will give you the ability to control not only motors, but uh, let's say if you wanted to blink an LED light. There are many uses for this which we will go over. On the analog inside, it gives you the ability to read uh, an input, meaning let, let's say if you click the button, you can check if that button was pressed or not. And it also gives you the ability to read uh, values from, let's say, a variable resistor. And this is um, beneficial when you're controlling a servo. And the other thing here are these pins, which is obvious is the power uh, pins but basically here is your voltage in if you're running this via battery and these are your two ground pins it also has an output for 5 volts if you want to power something and also gives you the output of 3 volts and this pin is just a reset which we will not be using and the ARAF pin over here we will not be using so it also has a ground wire over here so if you're using the voltage uh, to power something, you can plug it in here plus the ground, or you can also do it over here. So if you connect an LED, you can connect from negative to positive to light up that LED, uh, which also uh, should be wired together with a uh, resistor. So over here, these are just LED lights, the TX and the RX. So when you plug in the Arduino and it, when it powers up these will blink very fast and when you're uploading a program to this chip these will blink very fast this is just an LED uh, on pin 13 here when you want to just test out your first program when you take it out of the box you can make this LED blink basically this resistor is connected to this so the thing, the first thing that you should do is after you've got your Arduino set up, you should take a multimeter and from the ground check the voltage on, on all these pins here so you can become aware of how much voltage is really outputting. 
Now it does say 5 volts, but it can depend. It can be like 5.20, and this is this will just get you more comfortable about how your Arduino is working. You should also check the 3 volts as to what's coming out of there. So this Arduino uses the AT Mega 328 chip. So basically, this chip comes with 32 kilobits of flash memory so what that means is your program that you will put in can be 32,000 bits that's a very huge program and from that 32 uh, kilobits around 2 kilobits is used for the bootloader it also comes with SRAM about 2 kilobits for this version of the 328 and it also comes with double EEPROM memory 1 kilobit so basically what that is if you can store 1000 bits of information and you can unplug the Arduino and this chip will still remember. So that's just a basic overview of what the Arduino is. So one important thing to note about the Arduino is basically it's really just divided in half. It's really this part here, the AT Mega 328, which is the which gives the Arduino its power and everything else from this point forward is really to power the Arduino and several other things that it has in there to protect from short circuits if you put plug in something that's wrong and here's the power LED light and this one is just a, a re uh, power on and off button that you can do to uh, kind of like reset it without clear clearing anything out so when you buy the Arduino you will have several options uh, where you can also get the proto shield. So in the back here, I have the proto shield, which is not assembled, and this is something we're going to go through. It also comes with a USB cable and a power adapter. So if you do plan on purchasing the Arduino starter kit, you might, depending on uh, what you want to do, you might want to get the proto shield that's assembled. But in these lessons, we're actually going to solder this whole thing so we know how it works but the proto shield basically plugs on top of the Arduino and gives you access to these pins in a much more uh, better way you have more things to plug in plus you can test your ideas on this little thing here so one other thing you might want to invest is a breadboard which we will be using to look at different circuits and of course have a 1k a set of resistors and 330 ohm resistors. We'll be using different resistors throughout. Here I'm just showing you that you should have these handy. So I'll see you in the next lesson.